Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I am Michel. So tonight I'm going to be trying a recipe that I have never tried from a website that I've never tried from before. This is from whatsinthepan.com and these are going to be pork chops in a creamy white wine sauce. Sounds tasty, right? Anyway, uh, to start off, we've got two tablespoons of butter melting in our large skillet here over medium, medium high heat. And meanwhile, over here in this bowl, we're gonna be mixing up some ingredients. We've got a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. We're also going to be seasoning it generously with some salt. I'm using some kosher salt and our black pepper here. Now we'll whisk this all together. that was together. We're going to be taking our pork chops. I'm only going to be using three because I don't need to make a huge amount here. <laughs> Oops, a little slippery. So we're going to be dredging these in the mixture. Nice and coated. And then here in the pan, which is pretty much going to be ready now, we're going to go ahead and get them started cooking. Once you get all of them dredged, you want to cook them for about three to four minutes per side. To remove these from the pan, transfer them to a plate, and depending on uh, what you're cooking on, you may have to reduce your heat when you uh, get to that second side. I did because it was starting to get really, really hot in the pan. All right, while those are resting, pop two more tablespoons of butter into your pan. We're going to cover those, keep them warm over here. By the way, the other thing. that butter all melted, you're going to want to add two cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to get that going in there and cook that for about a minute. We are then going to add one tablespoon of that leftover dredge mixture into the pan. We're going to blend that in with our butter. We will then pour in a half cup of dry white wine. After that, I'm going to be adding one half cup of chicken stock. This is my homemade chicken stock. I will also be adding one half cup of heavy cream.
And then we're going to squeeze, this is a quarter of a lemon. Uh, we're just gonna squeeze a bit of the lemon juice from that quarter of a lemon in there. And I'm scraping that bottom to get some of those brown bits up uh, off the bottom of there. Not only does that make your pan easier to clean, but it also adds flavor to your sauce. All right, and then we're also going to be putting in, it said four sprigs of fresh thyme leaves. I have no idea exactly how much that's supposed to be, so I like to measure so that I know what to turn out. It came out to about a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves for me. And we're also going to be putting in another teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Last, we'll season this with a little bit more salt and pepper. And you can see it's starting to come up to a simmer. We wanna simmer that for a couple of minutes. So the sauce has been simmering for a couple of minutes. It's starting to get a little bit thicker. So now I'm going to put the pork chops back into the pan. I measured them for temperature. They actually are at 145, which is your minimum recommended. But I'm going to let them cook just a little longer in here just to be sure that they're fully done. See, I don't have pink in my juices that came off, so I am pretty, uh, pretty sure that they're as done as they need to be. Anyway, just to be safe, I'm going to let them cook in the sauce and also so that it kind of uh, absorbs some of that flavor from the sauce into the pork chops. And then we will see you at final plating. So here we are at final plating. You can see that I decided to serve it with some just rice aroni here on the side. Uh, but otherwise, it smells fantastic. Looks really great. I love it. Uh, I will be sure to let you know how this is, of course. And thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Cuisine de Michel. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know your thoughts. And we'll see you in the next episode. Au revoir.